Assalamu alaikum. And I must begin this video by saying Ramadan Mubarak to everybody. You know, almasun koro ni muftala mubima. Ni na kuna kesa tu raksa santa and uh, that's what it is. Um, this video will contain more of English language and uh, some Mandinka and some Olaf. You know, trying to communicate with my Gambian masses. You know and every concerned brother or sister be it muslim or not but i feel like um knowledge is something we should all share together you know i learn from you you learn from me which is a good thing right but to be precise the current burning issue right now as how people will quote gambian artists doing quranic recitation challenge First and foremost, um, I've seen so many positive impacts it did, you know what I mean? But um, I'm not going to, I'm not going to settle on only that right now. The negative energy around it as well is something I really want to address and I really want to share ideas with you, willing to learn from you and I hope you will also learn from this. Um, I see people taking it as very wrong. I see people condemning it. I see people asking questions. And a Quran and a challenge. What does Quran has to do with challenge? Um, I see people bashing other artists or the artists or you know those that they've seen their videos. As in. From my understanding is that you if you are an artist you don't have to it's wrong for you to do such right basically it's like condemning or restricting an artist from being god godly or holy now um let me tell you one thing though being an artist is a job right being a muslim is your religion okay but let me start with this when i woke up today i saw somebody saying what does quran has to do with challenge and something it's okay connect is entitled to your opinion but maybe i think language barrier the first one on your body fee because you don't even know what the challenge is islam is built upon challenge Islam is of the religion is challenge. Doing good in Islam, worship in Islam is challenge. So since everybody is talking from a religious perspective, I'm gonna keep it at that. Let's go back to our books. Let's go back to our Quran and our Hadith and find out. If you have if you don't have a deep knowledge of it which everybody do not have to have a deep knowledge of the Quran, but you can ask people that knows, right? Muslims compete in doing good. Muslims compete in doing good. If last year I was giving, um, I was giving $10,000 as charity, this year I want to compete myself and put it to $20,000. That's a challenge. If I see my fellow Muslim feeding 100 people a day, my challenge is I want to feed 200 people. We have to challenge in doing good. I hope you understand me or um, you understand that, that perspective I'm trying to show you, right? So if there is no challenge in doing good things, it would have been a very, very dull religion when it comes to worship or doing good things. So don't condemn challenge. It's a very good thing, right? Now, not everybody is outspoken or not everybody is opinionated. Some people will just keep quiet over everything, you know what I mean? But you always have to have one or two people that will come to the light and uh, share their experience. Or I'm not going to say defend everybody, but to clear the road. Now, here's the thing. Religion is a very, very sensitive thing, especially when it comes to Quran itself. 
Now, many people set lines as a no-go area when you talk about religion, especially being an artist. Let me give you a short example. Well before even this Quran challenge comes up, being an artist, a popular artist in Gambia, I'm sure all my fellow artists have gone through this. So again, if you're going to do right now, you're going to see people looking at you. You're going to be a center of attention. Like, you have many people thinking, hey, okay, the future, oh, he comes to the mosque. Like, because you are an artist, it is strange when you do good. Trust me, people think we are bad people. People think we are, we don't have God in us. People think we know nothing if not microphone and stage. People think we know nothing if not girls, drugs, and anything that they associate with Satan. People think that's the only thing we know. I face this a lot. I face this a lot. So I'm speaking, I'm putting myself in the picture as the main example here. And I'm sure I you buddy you need to do this type of life. I'm a person that you hardly see me unless I share the same neighborhood with you. People that I share the same neighborhood with knows, you know, how often I go to the mosque, right? But trust me, when I meet them in the mosque, or the first time they see me in the mosque, I know the surprise they wear on their faces. Oh, but I can see the excitement as well. That, yeah, it's a good thing. No matter how much the society, you know, stigmatize you, you're still doing what you believe in and what you think is right, right? Which is okay. Now, um, everything, no matter how good it is, even the best things in life, people carry, or people, how people perceive things, right? Now, I think this would have been a very nice caption today or yesterday. When people say, wow, Gambian artists reciting the Quran, or trying to recite the Quran, bro, that's a nice thing. Isn't that beautiful? Do you know how many people got inspired to go back and open the book? Just because they've seen their artists opening the book and reading it. Or they're reading in front of the camera. Some people will take it, ne. It's wrong because you are an artist. Some will take it in this perspective. It is wrong because you're putting it on social media. Some will say it's wrong because most of the pronunciations are not done right in the Quran context. So people are looking at this from different perspectives, which you can understand. One part, I will come to the pronunciation side here. Yeah? I will come to that later. And uh, out of every good thing, trust me, you will always come across one or two that don't really do it for you. You will, you will always get that. Right? But I want to encourage the artist, please don't let anybody make you feel so bad of yourself for making a Quran challenge and inspiring other people. Okay? I must commend Sihuya for, for starting this. Momla Kujisi must start you know? And uh, trust me, from, at a personal level, when I saw... Hussein, when I saw Chanda, when I saw Yafa, when I saw G doing the, I was like, yo, this is beautiful. I was so inspired that, wow, this is nice. All these artists you were talking about here, including myself, right, are sharing these things on their social media handles. You know how many people are following them? Let's face the realities of life, right? When I did my Quran, you know, when I did my own reading, I shared it on, on, on Instagram and on my WhatsApp status. I received calls from people that I haven't spoke with for over a decade, over 10 years. People call me and say, man, bro, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I feel so inspired. Please keep doing this. This is good. I feel so motivated, man, like, you make me want to go back to Dara. And that's only me, right, my part. Think of how many other artists did this. I'm sure there is even course like this. 
they motivated people it's a good cause you cannot condemn that intention you cannot condemn that move that is real that is deep people are telling me that i think gambia fin told that at some point in time right that at least that that's the basic term i can use right now i wouldn't say mbele kurano karang at you know at a specific level but mbele that that and insure animal karang but most of us that that at when we were young right so growing up you get to forget some surahs but when you see your fellow brother reading the particular surah man something triggers you just you want to get back there that is the challenge you've been challenged by another brother because he or she is doing good a brother is doing good, you know. I mean, it's godly. That all that alone. The Haramado Haramadi kuo kuo ke. Kendema o beti yaring o alake joa la la se do ya nyanya nyanya. This is this is Quran. Faman yamal miskala zaratin khairan yara, wa man yamal miskala zaratin sharran yara. Yaku kendo ke o yaku joa ka se do ya nyanya nyanya. Alake joa la. No matter how small it is. Be it good or bad, all your deeds, God's going to pay you for that. Even if it is small as an iota, something less than an atom, you're going to be paid for that. So if an artist does a Quran recitation and put it on his Instagram or Facebook, and thousands of people viewing that, feeling motivated, and you're telling me God is going to be mad for that, and you're telling me that that's a sin, People that know me at a personal level knows the type of family I'm from. I'm not going to talk more about that. Many people know, but I don't want to dwell on that right now. We understand I'm from a religious family. You know what I mean? But I'm not going to lie. We read so many verses, almost everything in the Quran when we were young. You know what I mean? Growing up, you, you get to forget some surahs because life, as you grow, you get distractions, many things coming on board. But trust me, when I saw my brothers reading this, I feel so much motivated. I feel so inspired. You know what I mean? If I was reading my Quran once a week, I want to do it seven times a week now. Because of this challenge that I'm involved in. And that is me in the picture. Think of other people out there. Bro, let's be realistic. Now, the pronunciation part of it. This is a very, very sensitive part. Please, please listen to me keenly. Alright? And it's time to be corrected. If you think what I'm saying right here is wrong, and you, you think you want to share your knowledge with me, I'm open to everybody. Please send me a direct message and tell me, you know, if I'm wrong or right. But I know what I'm saying. Now, pronunciation. Quran came in, in an Arabic tongue. Right? When I say Arabic tongue, I mean, you know, the language or, you know what I mean? It came in Arabic. We are black people, we are Africans, to be precise, we are Gambians. This has nothing to do with um, how educated you are. We have to accept some realities. Or we just have to accept realities, just reality, point blank. It's a diverse community. We have more than nine tribes or ten, I don't know how much we are now, but we are more than nine, or about nine, right? The Jola, the Mandinka, the Olaf, the... the the Sarahule, the Serer, all these tribes have their own tongue. They, they have a way they sound. There are words. It's not that you cannot pronounce, but it's difficult for you to pronounce. Right? Let me give you an example of this surah. When you say, Izaja an Nasrullah al Fatih, if you go to Mandinka communities, you will hear our elders pronouncing as. Ijaja instead of Izaja. I hope you understand what I'm saying. They pronounce letter Z in the sound of J. Instead of Iza, they pronounce as Ija. If you go to the all of communities, instead of Iza, they pronounce as Isa. It goes like Isaja, Anasullah, some will even Isasa. Okay? This is a, this is a natural thing. I remember when I was growing, growing up, you know, I, I, I find it hard to understand because I was, how I learned the Quran was from the Arabic tongue straight up. You know what I mean? So I, I, I get confused sometimes when I hear somebody say Ijaja or when I hear somebody say Isasa. You get me? 
but growing up, I get to understand, oh, this is not, this is, this is more than tongue. This has something to do with tongue. Like, for example, I'm speaking English right here. An Englishman will know this guy is not a British, this guy is not English. He's just speaking English, but that doesn't mean I'm speaking a wrong English. So, my lucky all of right now, and you hear me speaking, then I'm like, okay, keep on your lucky all of book correct, but keep the all of. You will know straight up. So, when you see somebody reciting the Quran, and some of the pronunciation is not right, don't judge the person upon that. Sometimes the tone is just natural. Out of the, you know, the tribe difference or the language difference, there are people that cannot, that cannot pronounce some words. Some people cannot pronounce some sound. Some people cannot pronounce R, R. They will say R. I hope you understand. Don't judge people because of this is the way they pronounce a particular word and you're saying God is going to punish them for that. Yes, I understand. God is very strict about how you read the Quran. Arab language is very complicated and delicate. One letter, one sound can change the meaning of the sentence. You cannot blame that to someone or someone on someone that don't really or that cannot pronounce that word naturally. You cannot blame that person for that. Don't judge that person for that. Okay? Certain things is just it's just common sense and hikmah. Knowledge. Or oh, wisdom, sorry. Right? You just we just have to accept reality. Not everybody reading the Quran is going to pronounce the Quran as the Arabic or as the Arabs. But on the whole, we have to encourage and motivate each other for doing good things, bro. If a Gambian artist comes up today on social media, reading the Quran, even if one line encourage the person, don't judge him because he or she, don't judge them because they are artists. That is wrong. Because if you're talking about Islam, if you're talking about Islam, to judge someone is one of the biggest sins, man. So you being judgmental, I don't know if you can contain that sin. Or if you can answer to God when he asks you. You don't have to judge people. If you think a person pronounced something wrong, please get, you can message people, man. Do things for, out of good cause. Message them, rectify them, but don't condemn them. Or the fact that the person is not is not Zakir Naik, or the person is not um, Mufti, so he cannot go online and do something religious. Do you know how many people have been inspired, motivated because of an artist is doing this? Don't discourage the artists, please. Don't discourage them. If you want to talk to them. I've seen, I've seen some guy doing a video and trying to, I'm making some sense, some points. Nice. I, I saw a guy on Gambian Talent video, you know, and he was making a lot of sense. And I mean, you can understand if you listen keenly what he was saying, right? The only part I had a problem with, or I, I would want to comment on, is the pronunciation part. If an Arab, with an Arabic tongue, pronounces the Quran in a wrong way, he will answer for that. Trust me. But you will hardly even see that. Because that's their tongue, that's their language. We are black, African, Gambian, Sarahules, Olofs, Jolas, we have our sound. We practiced this. We were not born in this language, we learned it. Uh, we've seen scholars that are well educated, they have the Quran here. But they still pronounce Z as J. They will still say Ijaja. And it's correct. You cannot say that's wrong. Because if you say that's wrong, you can say Imam Jele Komajang, and that's how they pronounce it. You cannot tell me they are wrong. Don't say that. If you say that, I'm going to. No, don't say that. Don't condemn that. Let's encourage each other, man. If today, Wizkid 
DeVito, Vibes Cartel, Cop Khan, get up out of a blue and do one verse of the Quran and put on social media. Entire Gambia will just go and celebrate. We have double standards. Most of us are hypocrites. We, you know how much Gambians love Mohammed Salah of Liverpool because of his Muslim? Yeah, because he's Muslim. We've seen artists, me and we heard like Busta Rhymes, when they had Busta Rhymes, who was Muslim. The other day, when they had Snoop Dogg converted being Muslim, you see Gambians celebrating that. Men, ST and G and Hussein Chanta are born Muslims here. You don't even show love. Who are you? What are you talking about? What is it? So, me from my understanding, it's not about the artists are doing chronic challenge, but you don't just want to accept your artists doing good. You don't want to celebrate nobody. Nothing is good in Gambia. Nothing. Whatever we do is bad. What's wrong? What's wrong with us? We are difficult people. While I'm doing this video, I had to, I had to, you know, put my put my phone on flight mode. You know, put calls can I enter? But still, people are calling me, asking me to send me that video because they love it. Because they're inspired. Because they want to read the Quran more. And you wanna tell me that was wrong? Let's face the realities of life. Take a typical example. Imam will be general, always be kawandola. Do we even go to listen to these imams? We don't. We don't even go. Mukataka imam will lamoy. But most of us are going to artist concerts. Why are you going there? And when this artist come back and read the Quran for you, you want to stop him for that? You have a choice in life. You have a life to live. Lakum dinu kum wali adin fam. Ntanan yo underrate. This is not a show of video. I know many people are gonna love this. I know many people are gonna hate me for this. I know many people are going to bash me for this. But I have a thick skin. I'm okay. I'm good. Alhamdulillah. And you know what I mean? Allah ya Allah ne. No haramadum haramane ka kuke mohamin kam. I want to give one advice to most of the artists. I know many people will do something because just just a wagon. Some people will just jump on the wagon. Don't use your name. Don't use an artist's name to do this Quran challenge to get fame. Because people are viewing these people are following and you just want to join that wagon. Please don't do that. Do things out of good intentions. If the act is bad and the intention is okay, let God judge. But this same God said, Innamal a'malu binniyad. Haramadim wala every intention, haramadim wala every bar or dependal intention on the good. Yeah. So if I, if I, if I, if I, if I did a video or if I do a video out of a good intention to inspire other people, to touch other people's heart, to touch to, to let people understand or know that you can also do this it's never too late that's a good thing and people are complying to that people are subscribing to that sta stadium of Andela, saludo people came these people are following st whatever he does on social media if one day st said let me read the quran for these people and these people love it what are you saying To those that think putting Quran on social media, what, what are you saying? Let me give you a typical example, and this is fact. Don't you know if the, if the Prophet wasalam, was alive, he was going to be doing videos on social media to talk to the, to, the, to, the, to, the, to the world? Because what is a messenger? Or who is a messenger without passing message to the masses? You go to people, you find them where they are. Right now, everybody is on social media, so people have to come there and find them. It's easier for Mufti to do a Facebook video or Instagram video and talk to the whole world in time, real time, the writing a letter and sending to one state after the other. When are we going to pass information in real time? Let's seek knowledge. Let's not judge. I don't know how to yell in the man. 
always the most negative things in Kaji Gambia. Simple things we cannot come on terms. We just have to fight over everything. If this was Nigeria or Ghana, you know what they were going to do? News headline. Gambian artists reside in Quran. Wow, amazing. Because they want to send a nice or a positive signal to the masses and motivate people. But in Gambia, they'll say, Ni Arsi Hamunshan Papabula New Yap. And the first person that, that me or my, definitely the way you pass the message to the person, that's how they're going to buy it. If Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was to come to Gambia in this age, or sending ya feel go um or ka Muslim me I didn't know come on Gambia. Yeah, Gambia don't wanna fight. You you narrow the canal, you come all fight. We talk a dinner, come on and tell a bank account. That's how they're going to interpret Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So nobody's going to even follow him. Alhamdulillah, oh thank God, he passed thousand more than a thousand years back. Sending all message on me. Because until all we know is casino bank account do you cook in America. Because Arab people do not accept it, or other people don't accept it, so we will follow, we will talk about it. follow. But we will not develop it, it is not possible. Because we are underrated. We underrated each other. That's why any, anything that can surprise me. Because we don't have any respect, we don't have support. This is just Gambia for you. Everything you do, you have been judged. The people who are judged, they will be judged by the Yes, I saw some artists trying to, you know, be outspoken, like being petty about this. Just because you don't like a certain artist and he's reading the Quran, you cannot do it, you have feelings. Boy, Alim Kana Nyonini, Tonya is one fam. You don't need to be an Ustaz, or you don't need to be an Imam to be godly. Haramadimu haramadimu la baro, ala ke konti bo wala, you know? I love new video over Jamfa, but topical over Seattle, me along with Musa discuss now. And I'm not the person that does these things, put these videos, videos online always. You know what I mean? But sometimes you just have to do one or two to clear the airwaves. And if people want me to be doing this more, I'll do. I'll share my views on things because we all have different views. But definitely, Tonya will kill him petly. More not a new you know, for a good intention. All of a sudden. People are making it bad. A cadul will be in box. You go, yeah, this is nice. Get off Facebook. You go, you go, this is wrong. Who? What are you saying? What are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? It's difficult for a Gambian. This is not just only an artist, but it's difficult for a Gambian. Anything good you do, you have the biggest fight. Is it because you are a Gambian? Yeah, that's not even a rhetorical question, it's yes, because you are a Gambian. I don't know when you're clean, why? You know? Let's not carry feelings for each other, man. It's not good. It's not good. Can I know judge? Can you judge? It's not good. You know what I mean? Can I know judge? And uh, one important thing. Mobile responsibility to, responsibility sort of to do good. We all have a responsibility to do good. Right? Because um you know it or not, people easily listen to people they relate to. You have to understand that. I'm sure, I'm sure there are many people right now on Facebook. It's easier for them to listen to ENC than to listen to somebody who is preaching because he's a preacher. But this person is looking at me as I'm wearing the same cap with you, I'm wearing the same t-shirt with you, they can relate to me. I have to take advantage of that because I have this person listening to me already. Now I can pass my message to them. This is the power of an artist or a public figure. That is why this Quran recitation went viral. Albijan, Albuka Imam Mullah post or share. How many Imams are reciting Quran on social media? None of you guys were sharing them. You, we are busy sharing Vibes cartel pictures. 
you were busy sharing sad you have to look for a life you have to look for a life do the math i need to call it here i might have a part two of this and <clears throat> for clarity purpose i'm doing this to, this to share to share good things with my brothers and sisters no bad energy i'm a bad energy player you know and if you think you want to let me know something that i don't know please message me i'm open to learn from everybody you know what i mean but i don't kind of know this credit man it's not good